Hey there fools, Big T here back with another video and it's time to call these dudes exactly what they are, fake gamers and Nintendo separatists. Now, uh, I don't mean the literal definition of the word separatist, that being a person who supports the separation of a particular group of people from a larger body on the basis of ethnicity, religion, or gender. I like that definition, but the latter part of it is a little bit doesn't really describe what I'm talking about. And I mean the part of the that says on the basis of ethnicity, religion or gender. Basically, this is on the basis of Nintendo fandom or being a Nintendo fan. And, you know, that larger body being gamers, you know, just gamers, the, the, the industry of gaming and gamers. So they want to separate the Nintendo fan out from that as something else, as an other. So a person who supports the separation of a particular group of people from a larger body on the basis of them being a Nintendo fan. These are the type of people I'm talking about. Nintendo separatists. Some people would describe them as Nintendo haters and they'll, they try to downplay the Nintendo hate. Oh, how can I be a Nintendo hater if uh, Nintendo is irrelevant to me? You know, all this kind of corny nonsense. I say to you today, my friends, that in spite of difficulties and frustrations of the moment, I have a dream. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all gamers are created equal. <laughs> Nintendo is irrelevant to you, but that's all you talk about. Or you find, you know, every opportunity you can to downplay Nintendo, but it's irrelevant to you. All right, I got you. You're a Nintendo separatist. These are the same people who, during the Wii U's life cycle, um, some of them may have bought the Wii U, you know, early on to basically bash it. I mean, that was the point of them doing it. It's not like it's not like they weren't in tune to what the Wii U was and what it was going to have. They knew that going in. They knew that buying, you know, buying the Wii U, what it had, what it was going to be. By the time it launched, we had hopes that. Uh, you know, the Wii U was going to have more third-party support throughout its life cycle. We thought that. But by the time the, the Wii U launched, we knew the writing was on the wall uh, for a lot of third-party. There was already people talking out the side of their mouth, dissing the Wii U's, uh, slow CPU, all the stuff, you know. And uh, these things were going on, right? So these people, you know, these Nintendo separatists were the ones laughing at the third party ports you know they're slower how could i buy this and you know some nintendo fans were buying this i bought a lot of third party games despite them not you know being up to par as far as the current gen consoles some were on par uh, but there were some that were under some of those games i still bought but these were the people that are like oh we you know i i can't justify buying a nintendo console there's no third party blah 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 so obviously the best way to help uh, a console lacking third party is not to buy any third party games. That's how you <laughs> help it, right? Obviously, I wouldn't want anybody to buy a bad third party game. I buy a game based on is it fun? Does it run well? Can I have fun with it? Does it not distract with technical issues or anything like that? And obviously, I want to buy the game for the console I play the most, uh, which is, you know, the Nintendo console. So um, I will take some a hit here to enjoy a game on my favorite console. I don't think that's, you know, I, I think that's pretty normal. Most people would probably do that. Oh, I like such and such this. I'll go to this, you know, restaurant, even though they charge more for this, because I like the environment, you know, but people do that uh, for everything, not just video games. So, but these were the people say, oh, I'm not a Nintendo hater, I'm a real fan. So uh, I just want Nintendo to do better. Well, alas, we have the Switch, and Nintendo is doing better. They're getting a lot of support. They're getting third-party support. They're getting major third-party support. And these guys are still in the same thing. And it just proves their fraudulence. They're frauds. Let's just call them what they are. Okay, you're not a Nintendo hater, but well, then you're a fraud. Oh, I want Nintendo to do better. Well, they're doing better, and you're not supporting them doing better. You're still trying to downplay them and shoot them down for what they're doing. Obviously, we have the Doom situation where Doom is a good game on Switch. Like, it runs great. Does it run as good as PS4? No. The Switch is a hybrid console, so it, it would never, it was never going to have those games that run on par with, you know, an Xbox One or PS4 or PC or anything like that. But they run good. This is not a situation where it's, oh my God, we all know the hardware is not as strong, even though it's more, um, even though it's more modern tech, it's not as strong as Xbox One, PS4. We all know this. So a port of a game like Doom was never going to look as good or run as fast 
I mean, it's just common sense. But if you were a supporter of Nintendo, you want Nintendo to do better. They're doing good. You don't poo poo that. You don't downplay it. You support a good port. It is a good port. But know these people. Oh, it's trash. Oh, that. Oh, uh, it's unplayable. Frauds. Like I said, Nintendo was. There's no. There's nothing Nintendo can do with the console they have to make that game run. But it's not like it's some shoddy port. There's nothing Nintendo can do. There's nothing, uh, as far as I know, that Panic Button could do or uh, Bethesda could do to make the game run better on this hardware. But it runs good. That's not good enough. These guys are frauds. They're, like I said, Nintendo separatists. If they don't want to be Nintendo haters, we'll call them Nintendo separatists. And anybody who who it's just it's strange for anybody who calls himself a gamer to knowingly willingly separate themselves from a gaming company especially a gaming company like nintendo who's been around from the beginning of modern gaming to just basically want to separate them out from what they feel is the real gaming of the core gaming it's corny it's lame and it makes you a fake gamer Anybody, go on my channel right now. I'm a quote-unquote Nintendo fanboy. Go on my channel right now and find the video where I just downplay or, oh, Sony needs to go away or Microsoft needs to go away or PC needs to go away. Find that video. You won't find it. I'll tell you that. Don't waste your time because I'm a real gamer. I don't downplay any other company. I find merits in every company i have my favorite but i find merits in every company i bought an xbox one when uh sunset overdrive came out and i wanted the doom or the doom collection i wanted the uh halo collection that's when i got an xbox one uh i bought a ps4 earlier this year for its exclusives that are starting to come so i find like i said i find what's good about a console i find a reason to want to buy a console instead of trying to find reasons to not buy a console to not support uh, a game company because that's what a real gamer does they don't try to discount a company or just to have a justifiable reason to not purchase something it's lame i've always been a multi-console owner nintendo has always been my favorite basically since super nintendo i started to recognize myself as a nintendo fan because you know nes everybody loved the nes it was basically you're gonna play video games, that's what you did. You played the NES. It wasn't until Super Nintendo was like, yeah, I like Nintendo for what they do. Hello. I've always loved Mario and all, and Zelda and stuff, but now I associated myself with the company of Nintendo. I like their philosophy and how they, you know, create games. For any gamer to knowingly, willingly separate themselves from that culture, that huge piece of gaming history and current gaming, is a separatist and is a fake gamer i just don't understand and nintendo is not a genre you know i don't play nintendo games well you're an idiot because <laughs> nintendo was not a genre to not play nintendo is pokemon nintendo is uh metroid it's super mario it's zelda it's kirby it's yo i mean it's a lot of things so when you say i don't play nintendo games you are separate yourself from a lot of core gaming because for me, I'm an old school gamer. I go way back. The the modern gaming started with two genres. The space shooter and the platformer. Obviously, Nintendo still owns the platformer genre. That is pure video gaming. Platforming. And shooting. <laughs> shooting things. The space shooter. Nintendo has shooter games like... Well, you don't you want to call Metroid a pure shooter, but... Like uh, Star Fox um, is their space shooter. Um, and <clears throat> obviously they have the platformers. They have uh, action adventure game in Zelda. They have RPGs like Xenoblade. So I don't understand. To me, when you say, <laughs> I don't play Nintendo games, you are telling me that you're, you're a video game separatist. You're a Nintendo separatist because Nintendo is not a genre of gaming. They make plenty of genres in games like i just mentioned so you're cutting yourself off from that based on what i don't I mean what is it you're you're not more sophisticated than anybody because you play a title that has m in the as the uh 
the the description it has M rated for mature. You are still playing a video game, okay? You're pretending to be a character <laughs> in a video game, a culture cultivated for kids. Video games were at its at their core toys, video toys for kids. Now they've expanded on on that that uh, foundation, but at the end of the day, you're playing a make believe. You're playing in a make believe world. You're playing as a soldier or some, you know, some kind of character or a ninja, whatever. You know, so you're not more sophisticated than anybody. You know, I still pay my taxes. <laughs> I still own property. Uh, my kids go to school. Uh, I I have my own business. You're not more sophisticated than anybody by saying I don't play Nintendo games. What you are is a fake gamer and a Nintendo separatist. You know, but in this situation, there's a group that I'm genuinely that I genuinely feel sorry for. Um, and no, it's not Nintendo fans. It's certainly not Nintendo separatists. It's not those idiots. The the group that I genu genuinely feel sorry for in this situation is women. <laughs> And you're like, what do, what do you mean by women? Just women in general. Cause, because these separatists, these just strange dudes <laughs> who who have these uh, inconsistencies and have these uh, this certain feeling about who's like uh, mature based on the video game companies they play. I just really feel bad for women because... They have to look out into the horizon at these these inarticulate, belligerent Neanderthals, these <laughs> these um, idiot narcissists. Look out at them on the horizon and pick a mate <laughs> from this group. I mean, poor ladies. I mean, they just they must really be unsatisfied in their relationships with these dudes. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, I'm joking, but I really do feel bad. So let me reiterate and be clear as to the purpose of this video. And it is to explain to you that anybody who calls himself a gamer, but spends days, months, years shouting down a gaming company, whether they're doing good or bad, that person is pathetic. They add nothing to the culture of gaming. They are a waste of your time, your precious viewing hours, your precious reading hours. They're a waste. Any gamer who sees a company that's been down and not doing well, maybe they weren't selling well, like uh, Nintendo was with the Wii U, and they weren't in the best graces when it came to the gaming media. Any gamer who saw that and now sees the turnaround that is with the Switch and, and isn't congratulatory uh, or isn't happy for that company has proven that that company will never be good enough for them which is fine but be honest and stop lying like me as a Nintendo fan I criticize Microsoft because I want them to do better I legitimately want them to do better I invest in their their console I invested their products and I want to see a better output of first party titles from them. They got the hardware now. They're good with that. That's great and all. I want better exclusives. I want more from them on that front. And when they bring that, I will congratulate them for it. I won't continue to be, oh, well, this isn't good enough or that isn't good. Uh, I don't like this or that. Because I'm a gamer. And I'm honest about how I feel about gaming and video game companies I don't pretend to be a neutral when I'm clearly hating on one or two companies on the regular I mean I don't nobody cares that you do that nobody cares that you don't like a ga gaming company but be honest about it I mean why, why is it so hard to be honest that you just don't like them and move on that's all I gotta say about that let me know what you guys think in the comments below these guys with this the switch has exposed not only fake Nintendo fans as uh, PE said as uh, OJ said but it's exposing these fake I'm the real I'm a real Nintendo fan I will I want better 
Well, they're giving you better. They're going to continue to do better with the Switch. It's not going anywhere. I know you may be upset about the success. It's not. You can't do what you did with the Wii U. And it hurts you. <laughs> so you move the goalpost. But you're, this, the success of the Switch has also exposed these I'm the true Nintendo fan wanting to make it better. They, it's exposed them for what they always were. Fake, fraudulent Nintendo separatists. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and listening. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out. Have fun. <laughs>